hey what's up guys welcome back again to my channel my name is Jen please don't forget to like this video subscribe comment and share so guys today we're gonna be talking about Ira star as we know Africa is the home for afro beats Nigerian star on the rise Ira star has turned heads with her catchy songs as well as her outfits. She was discovered by Don Jazzy in 2019 and later signed with his record label, Maven Records. Her most popular hits include Bloody Samaritan and Rush. A lot of people do love Ira Starr because of her energy as well as her vibes. Some of her fans have been critical of her being too scantily clad with the short skirts and the bras. Ira did go ahead to give her fans a sarcastic apology, aka I don't really care what you guys are talking about. I'm all about the money, all about the fame, and all of that jazz. For me, the apology was unnecessary because it was sarcastic. And if you're going to give people an apology, just be straightforward and direct and give them an apology. But it's never a good idea at the start of your career to essentially be taunting your fans if you ask me. And your fans can make or break you. So I don't know who her PR team is that let her put out that statement, but it just didn't rub off well. It didn't come off nice and it was just giving what was unnecessary. As far as the outfit is concerned, the whole red and white outfit it was a bit too much if you ask me at the end of the day she knew she would be performing with these big old boots I'm just like Ira you kind of look a mess in the outfit because it's like where are you going to you knew you would be moving around a lot you knew the skirt was gonna ride up you knew that your underwear was gonna show so it's like why not wear something that is stage appropriate if you're gonna show your underwear just wear like a leotard or something like the other girls wear but to show people your draws that was not a good look and I was willing to give Ira a pass simply because she is only 20 years old and you know at that age we all do dumb ish but to me her apology was lackluster and then the PR team didn't really do anything for her they should have taught her better especially at this stage in her career a lot of people may not know this but Africa is actually a very religious continent and the main religions include Christianity and Islam Ira knows the audience she was going to perform for and she essentially knew that they were going to be critical of what she wore that's not what they signed up to see ma'am they signed up to see you sing they didn't sign up up to see your draws or your bra get it together and if Ira was in America or the UK or somewhere where this was acceptable and she could get away with it I would have been fine with it but at the end of the day you know better because of the country you were raised in Ira and you know the values that they uphold so the outfit didn't really make any sense to me I know that dressing risque does sell in this day and age but everything is not about making money and when you have people looking up to you and when they look up to you they shouldn't see your bra or underwear i want you guys to go ahead and check out ira's album it's called 19 and dangerous i believe the deluxe is out right now let me know what you guys think in the comments section do you believe that she dresses too risque or do you think people are overreacting please let me know and as always guys it's been fun please don't forget to like this video subscribe comment and share and i'll see you in my next one peace